so in this video we are going to discuss about the rate of reaction all right so rate of reaction what was rate of reaction that was a change in concentration with respect to time all right or you can say the changes with respect to the velocity speed which is uh, always on the unit a second so the thing is the same that the change in concentration with respect to the time so rate of reaction are of three types first type is the fast rate of reaction which mean that if a reaction is at like happen in 10 uh, into 10 into 10 is power 6 second which mean you can see that how like how rapidly it is uh, the reaction is occurred you can see the time which is very 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 less all right which is like here you can see that the pico is there which means it's very less in the um, mic early uh, you can say that it is above the micro second all right so so the reaction is called fast if the reaction is occur at this time for example the reaction you can take the example of the reaction that is a combustion all right second we are having the explosion all right third we are having the neutralization that is the reaction which is very fast Fourth is the formation of PPD, precipitate or solid formation of PPD. You can see that that is very fast. So this was the first fast rate of reaction. All right. In this, if we talk about that, will be the the rate of reaction will be the you can say the rate will be the activation. If we talk about their activation energy all right of the of reactant that will be low that will be low which means that will be having the fast reaction all right which means for example the two atom um, you can say combine and overlap and change the electron that is like wow like that is like in the seconds all right so that is why their uh, activation energy of reactant is very low if it's a uh, very rapidly so the reaction will not occur very fast so their activation energy of reactant is very you can say uh, low all right second reaction we are having that is the moderate rate of reaction rate of reaction which mean that for example uh, you can take the example of the covalentic reactions covalentic reaction you can take the exa you can take the example of the reversible reactions reversible uh, reactions are basically you can say the covalentic reaction as you all know you can take the example of the hydrolysis which means that is not very fast or not very slow that are moderate mid between hydrolysis of ester ester is a compound all right and ester is made up of what carboxylic acid and the alcohol so if we talk about that so that is like if we talk about their activation energy their activation energy is their rate of reaction or their activation energy is moderate so the reaction will be moderate third reaction we are having that is the slow rate of reaction slow rate of reaction which means that it takes it takes a uh, time like days all right air or hours which means that a uh, slow which means the reaction is very slow all right you can take the example of the formation of diamond that take you can say many years all right second you take the example of the curding into the milk curding to milk it take one day all right third you can take the example of the rusting of iron which take many days so you can take the example of the formation of the coal inside the earth's crust that take very time so these are what these are the slow rate of 
reaction and if we talk about their activation of energy that is very high so the atom basically collide or combine very slowly that's why their rate of reaction take a uh, very much time alright so that's why their rate of reaction or uh, rate of not the activation energy very high uh, so the rate of reaction will occur slowly so this was the three type of the rate of reaction so in the next video we're going to discuss about the graphical representation of the rate of reaction